right, so now let's move on to fetching an individual post by an ID. Um, I want you guys to take a crack at this, see if you can try to figure it out. It's going to be relatively similar to the two other previous ones we've done. So we'll start out by referencing the cursor object as usual, and then we'll execute. And then here we're going to pass in our SQL statement. And so we're going to do a select star from post. That's going to grab every post, but we want to grab just one post based off of the ID. And so you guys already know how to do that. We can say where ID equals and then whatever ID that you want. Uh, and so let's take a look at our database. I have uh, an ID, a post with an ID of one. So right now I'm just going to hard code it. So I'm going to say post with an ID of one. And at this point, this is not going to return anything. To actually return something, we'll say uh, cursor dot fetch. And then we're going to use not fetch all, but fetch one, because there's only ever going to be a post with an ID of one. Just, and so this is going to make it a little bit more efficient. And then I'm going to save that as post. I'll just say test post, not to get confused with the other post. And then we're going to print that out just to see if it worked. So let's get one post. And it doesn't really matter what we send it as. If I take a look at this print statement, you can see that we were able to get just that one single post. So it looks like that worked. So now let's clear out all of this other code. I'm going to remove the print statement. Um, actually, before we do that, first of all, let's not hard code the value anymore. Instead, we want to use the ID that we passed in uh, from the path parameter. So how do we do that? Remember this, we're, we want to always make sure that we're not vulnerable to SQL injection attacks. So we'll do percent %s. So that's going to be the placeholder for the value. And then the second thing that we pass into the execute method, this is going to be the ID. So we take the ID and then that's going to get pushed into this value. So it's essentially doing the same exact thing. So let's see what happens uh, when we try to run this again. And I'm going to try to grab a post of one and let's see what happens. All right. So it looks like we got an error. So let's take a look. And it says that int object does not support indexing. So it's not very helpful. However, I'll tell you exactly what's happening. Because this is a string, we need ID to be a string as well. Right now, it's an integer because we validated it as an integer and we converted it to an integer. But we need this to be a string or then it's not going to work. So we have to convert it to a string. It's pretty simple. You just do string. And that's all. And at that point, that should fix the issue. And I'm sure you guys are a little bit confused because uh, when it comes in as a uh, path parameter, it's going to come in as a string. We then convert it to an int to then only convert it back into a string. Uh, and so you might think, well, maybe we should just change this to a string. But if you change that to a string, then it could potentially open up it to us to issues where the user could type in something like this, which isn't a valid ID. So we do have to validate it as a number, uh, convert it to an int, and then convert it back to a string once again. So let's save this. Our error should go away, and let's try this. All right, no errors, so it looks like everything's good. And so now it's just a matter of cleaning up our code and getting rid of all of the other code. So I'm going to rename this, so this is just going to be post. So we can keep everything else the same. So if we didn't find a post, right, which means uh, you know the database returned nothing, it's going to be set to none. And then we can raise the usual exception. But if we did find a post, we're just going to return it. But now, if I get a post of one, you can see that we've got that post, which is clearly from the Postgres database because it has the created at field. And then if I try to grab a post uh, of an, if I try to grab the ID of a post that doesn't exist, try five, we can see that post with the ID of five was not found. And let's just double check to make sure that there is no post with an ID of five, and there isn't. So oh, perfect. And you know, guys, one interesting thing. Uh, later down in some of the next path operations that we work on, um, I did run into a weird issue where if I didn't have a comma right after this, even though there's nothing that comes after it, it led to an issue. I'm not sure why it did that. Um, but keep in mind, if you do run into some weird issues, just put in this extra comma for some reason or another, uh, it, it potentially fixes some issues. Okay. So just keep that in mind. I don't have an explanation for it. You know, maybe it's listed somewhere, uh, within stack overflow or so I'm sure someone, uh, eventually or occasionally ask this question and I just couldn't find it. 